This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four and a half minute forecast as we have a lot to get to in terms of severe weather over the next six days. But temperatures out there this morning, we are mild out there. You can see many of us starting out in the mid to upper 50s, closer to 60 in Cleburne and as well as down near Waco. It's 66 degrees, so it's much warmer down to the south this morning. Again, the cold front is stationary south of I-20 this morning, but eventually by this afternoon, see temperatures by lunchtime in the low 80s for most of the Metroplex and eventually by about four or five o'clock this afternoon. Many of us will warm up into the mid to upper 80s all across North Texas, so it should definitely be a nice day out there. Humidity will start to return. Obviously, you might be thinking we're not going to see any storms today, right? Well, there's actually a chance for some thunderstorms late this afternoon in the evening hours, which might also be severe. So again, more on that in just a moment. The dew points in the Metroplex this morning in the upper 40s and low 50s near College Station, 70 this morning. So it's a lot warmer down there. Dew points by this afternoon. You can see all of us will be back into the mid 70s, probably just after sunset this evening. So humidity will return. You can see dew points as high as 70, maybe 71 degrees this evening and the overnight hours so it'll be a lot more humid going into the late overnight hours tonight and eventually going to monday you can see dew points again in this near 70 degrees back out to our west as well where more severe weather will be possible there here's a look at the severe weather potential for today there is a marginal risk of severe storms currently in the metroplex back out to the west near wichita falls a slight risk exists we will go live if there's any severe storms at any point today so just keep that in mind on both youtube and facebook also there might be a chance for an isolated discrete supercell down here today just keep that in mind i'll show you more on that in just a moment but also something to watch out for there's also a potential for severe weather tomorrow marginal risk of severe storms for areas just along i-35w and back off to the northwest near wichita falls Bowie, graham jacksboro all under a slight risk of severe weather there's also an enhanced risk in oklahoma and portions of oklahoma west of oklahoma city but uh, not as much of a concern at least the metroplex and also abilene's included in that slight risk as well also going to wednesday there's a slight risk of severe weather all across north texas again all modes of severe weather will be possible including damaging winds large hail and a tornado threat will exist it looks like this will be more of a line of storms so just kind of keep that in mind more of a damaging wind threat but another day to watch very closely and as well as thursday there's another slight risk of severe weather issued by the storm prediction center again that's going to include most of the metroplex and off to our north and east the best chance for severe weather on thursday so let's kind of take a look at the timing and whatnot what to expect over the next several days so here's a look at going into today so you can see that through the morning hours we should stay dry a couple of isolated showers or storms during the mid to late afternoon hours down to our south eventually one of these could become severe so keep this in mind again maybe one near waco or something like that back out to the west a few showers and storms this will be basically out in front of the main area of storms that we'll see developing back out in western texas later today now eventually by 9 10 o'clock some storms back out to our west again severe weather not out of the question by 11 12 o'clock some strong severe storms possible a complex of storms here down to the southwest far southwest of north texas near abilene and eventually maybe some storms closer to areas like weatherford and also back off to the north maybe a little cluster of storms as well over in oklahoma by one two in the morning some of these showers and maybe storms move into the metroplex March Marginally severe storms possible after about midnight so just keep that in mind these will most likely be more of a marginally severe threat if they are severe in the metroplex four or five in the morning these showers and storms move through our region maybe a couple of isolated showers or a storm during the afternoon hours on monday but that will also lead to maybe a few severe storms during the late afternoon and evening hours on monday back out to our northwest you can see maybe a few cells developing near wichita falls and as well as western oklahoma that might be an area to watch for some severe weather and eventually we'll see a complex of some showers and maybe some weak storms going to tuesday morning that will not likely be that severe though wednesday is our next chance for severe weather after this so you can see by wednesday afternoon an area of storms will develop potentially a line maybe even some discrete supercells mixed in there so this will not, again be another day to watch looks like most of the dfw metroplex will see storms on wednesday thursday we'll see another line of storms this looks to be just damaging winds and maybe some isolated large hail and maybe a very isolated tornado threat so thursday looks like just basically a line of storms you can see this is during the late morning early afternoon hours and again we will go live for any of this weather uh basically any day wednesday or thursday so just keep that in mind uh we are out of college after that so that's a good thing all right take a look at the temperatures tomorrow morning you can see mid 60s and also upper 60s when you wake up tomorrow temperatures by the afternoon hours many of us will warm up into the 70s maybe some 80s depends on how much cloud cover there is again more cloud cover means less of a increase in temperatures going to tomorrow usually it's north texas weather center seven day forecast again over the next several days you can see temperatures will basically be in the low 80s or upper 70s chances for rain every single day through at least saturday this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting birdies pro turf and all dense repair